please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Uswobi. Good day, everybody that is watching us all over the world. This is Face TV Africa. Um, we have a lot to see today. And um, I have different segments, but I'm going to cut it down to like 30 minutes. Firstly, uh, Mr. Drew Fautimi is one of the lawyers that I respected most in this country. Hey, but can you bold, can you just saw the reality? Uh, Mr. Dele Fautimi, Ojekonu. Though I didn't agree with what he's saying, but most of the time, Mama uh, agree with Mr. Dele Fautimi because. I want to already the last day in Nigeria change in here. This country, am I joking to him? I came across one video since two, since February 2024. February, yeah, I think it's February. Um, Sarah put alone try to grant an interview time here to one build. And he said one thing. He said, the revolution perfectly in Nigeria is going to start from north. Because of the level of the poverty in that place. Because they are not educated. Most of them, they are not educated. Most of their children, let's say 80% of them, they are not educated. And I don't know the reason why. Shelly, between your buyer to educate, it's not about going to school itself. No. Depend on the education to buy food you're going to my affect you sometimes. Am I looking to you? And that is why I said religion is going to cause most problem in this country. And that is the issue to look over my bed today, not your state. But I'm not going there. If anything, if any revolution wants to happen in this country, it's going to start from north. And that is what we are seeing now. It might not happen yet. You want a jello. But in between poverty, but it will hide you, see? It be the revolution, but it buried. And it can happen anywhere. But there's a lot of chance if people owe my belly, Latin nuts. My play video, Mr. Dele Pawati, before him. Because sometimes, Tia backing Kek Olara when he, one by one, Tabat share, Tim get much information, Tabat need Lato Don, Amali, more reality and know the facts. These people are not ready for this country. What they are just ready, because I just don't know what they are just using money for. I don't know. I don't know. They have money, but I want to go away. I want to come in. You wish you long and go for you. I just don't understand. I don't because me, you want to go over for what she like. Tinubuna was saying that in during during the campaign, he was saying that I don't need any money, which everybody knows that this is facts. You said you want to distribute rice 2023 for each state. I said that I could only debit on. Oh, she gave me a party, let me alone, Coco, Coa, and one rice in your phone. And that is why. Too bad the whole party because I register as a party. You got to have a campus anyway, my worry. But your man's only my worry. See, you can't see, you can't party, continue on your bad 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 for one party. The man called Con, who took on around you. You can't have a man come back in your way, you're near. But see, your bad bad for one low, you party the man called Con, who took on around you. Must you do party before you benefit something from your government? Must you? In like in Brazil, don't have been already become lost in Brazil. Time COVID nineteen, go on, go on, see kilo go. Oko lo be lost, she ni oje. I go convert the money, lo convert the money. One send the more than two hundred thousand. See na can't tell. Talking show money, lo ni Brazil le le ben. What is the problem of this country? They go on mass of people getting action. Come by. If I don't party, le man go kofun kato kofun arali. This is rubbish. And that is the reason why I said, no matter what you distribute, forget it. Because, what you call the other one, you can come and go to the other one, you can come and go to the other one, you can come and go to the other one, most all of them they are not ready to do anything because I don't know the reason why Tom Tinubu Mako was like okay, efficient combine in Kwame Mabiche. And I'm still saying it. The revolution is still coming. I will protest to each other. Let me play uh, 
the video of a uh, 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 lawyer delivered to me. Can go amoro because nobody in my so can you be much any got to shell and what you try to video you have been play for my viewers me okay and you can feel you know come this man has said it but the revolution of my shelly is going to start from north because of the rate of the poverty and oje rebel on shelly be if these people are not taking go to my shelly country i won't only take oh my believe on my salon oje le possible let me play that video for us I remember sitting in this same chair. You were right there as well. Just a little over a year ago, hmm. we were talking. And I was specific in saying that Nigeria had been damaged beyond repair hmm. by Buari. And that anyone who is going to rescue Nigeria would have to reimagine it hmm. and then rebuild it from the ruins of the Buari regime. And I did say in Addendum at the time, that Bola Ahmed Tinubu is incapable of envisioning a future for Nigeria because he's part and parcel, integral part and parcel yes. Yes. of the horrible past of this country. Yes. Nobody alive is more responsible for the emergence of the Buhari regime than Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He's on record as having honed it himself. If he says uh, he has inherited a bad situation, the question is from who? It's the same people, the same character, it's the same man. How clueless is this president as far as you know? What do you mean clueless? Let's be clear. When we, when we excuse the madness we see on account of the cluelessness or inability of those who rule Nigeria, we're actually making strategic errors. They know exactly what they are doing at every point in time. Yes. The man is on record. He said, reduce their purchasing power, widen the tax net. All those things the man was saying and everybody was busy catching crews and laughing at the time. That's exactly what he is doing. You're seeing pockets of protests. Yeah, and there, I remember saying some years back that the Nigerian revolution will start in northern Nigeria. I stand by what I said at the time. Exactly. Now, how long it will take before the inevitable would happen. I don't know. But one thing that is clear and glaring is that given the level of weaponized poverty that has been unleashed against the people, is nuclear grid. When you see the number of Nigerians scooping hot food off boiling cauldrons, packing rice with sand, you then begin to have a glimpse, just a mere glimpse into what lies ahead because it's just starting. It's as long as criminality has been licensed and impunity has become the order of the day, there is nothing anybody needs to say. Eventually, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. At some point, this system is going to grind to a halt. My own singular interest is in making sure that the mass of the people do not turn against themselves, believing that they are their own. No. The real enemies are sat in government offices. It is easy to predict the harvest when you see the seed. The seed that have been planted have made it clear that a deadlock is inevitable. You have a government that is lacking in legitimacy. You have a judiciary that is lacking in credibility. You have a legislative house that is generally peopled by idiots, imbeciles, and crooks. And then you have a people against whom hunger has been weaponized. Yorubas have a proverb. They say, When you translate that properly, what it actually says is that rationality ends where hunger begins. I think you understand that. So, no matter how it is, if all our leaders continue doing this, and it's, it's very, very close by. It's, this, is, this is a matter of understanding. Because I don't want this video to be too long. But I want our, gov our leaders to know one thing. One day, one day, because of what citizen is going to do for you guys. Because you think you can just do and undo I just don't understand. You will promise, you will throw up, and 
what you are saying is hopeless. Just because you believe you are a leader, you can do and undo. I'm very sure the revolution is coming very soon. I'm not praying for it. And I'm praying that you, our leaders, to at least hear our cry. So that at least you can do the needful. This is getting too much. Nigerians are suffering. People are suffering. I won't say more than this. My name is Lekuti Oyeyemi. Bye for now. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa. Hey, yo, hey, subscribe. Subscribe. Hey, hey, hey. Face TV. Oswobi.